If you think that some of my previous videos have been a little bit geeky, wait till you see what we've got today. Hello whiskey fans, there comes a point in every whiskey enthusiast journey when you have to make a tough decision and that's when you've bought all of these wonderful bottles of whiskey and they're beautiful glass bottles with their beautiful labels and you just have too many of them. You can't keep every bottle from every bottle of special whiskey that you've ever had. So when your house begins to look a little bit more like a glass recycling plant rather than where someone might actually live, what do you do? So it doesn't matter who you are, there comes a point when you just have too many old whiskey bottles. And they're ones that it's easy to form an attachment to, but you can only keep so many. And they end up taking up quite a lot of space. So the thing that I've started to do is, rather than have an entire room full of old glass bottles, is to just keep the labels. And you might have seen in a few of my more recent videos, the pin board behind me, where I'm keeping some of the more special labels and little cut out parts of the boxes. But actually getting those labels off the bottle is not always that easy. And I'm not going to say that this is a foolproof method to get every label off every bottle because there's a lot of different glues, a lot of different types of labels. Some of them are just paper, some of them can be plastic, some of them can be a metalised piece of plastic stuck to paper, which I found are an absolute nightmare to get off the bottles. But I'm going to go through what I do and hopefully it's going to be successful to you as well. So you're going to need a few things to try this at home and the first one is a bottle from a whiskey that you really find special that you want to preserve. Next up is a plastic funnel and it's important that you get one that is small enough that it can fit into the neck of the bottle. Next up is a sharp implement, so I've gone with a classic Stanley knife, other brands of sharp thing are available. And lastly you're going to need some form of kettle or source of hot water, but it really is quite important that it does need to be around about boiling. And lastly the staple of any good British kitchen, the good old tea towel. So start off by taking your plastic funnel and sticking it in the neck of your whiskey bottle while we prepare the hot water. And this is where the tea towel comes in. It's just so you've got a way to keep hold of the bottle and make sure the whole thing doesn't tip over while you're pouring the hot water in. Now you can use a pair of gardening gloves or something like that but I'd actually recommend a cloth or a tea towel because if you do spill the hot water that ends up on your gloves that's going to start to burn you through the gloves and you don't want to be struggling to get those off your hands. So I actually think it's probably a little bit safer if you just go with a cloth or a tea towel. So as the water goes in, careful that you don't overfill the funnel and just keep an eye on the water level in the bottle. And the important thing is that you want the water, the hot water, to come up just above maybe a half inch or a little bit more above the top label that you want to cleanly remove from the bottle. So I'm not interested in the, the detailing around the neck of the bottle, so that fill level is going to be fine for what I want to do here. And once that water is in there, it's going to vary depending on what glass bottle you've got. If it's quite a thick bottle, you might have to leave it for quite a long time. If it's thin, it might start to work a bit quicker. But I'd recommend that you leave the hot water in there for around about 10 minutes, because the important thing that we're trying to do here is to reheat and loosen up that glue that was applied under that label. With the theory being that if we can loosen up that glue, we'll be able to peel the label off using a lot less force with a lot less chance of us damaging the label in the process. So using the magic of the internet, I've left the hot water in my bottle for 10 minutes, so that should be ready for us to have a go. So again, tea towel so you can actually handle the bottle. Your brain is going to be telling you that it's just a glass bottle and you can touch it and it will be fine. It is not. It's going to be really hot and you don't want to touch it, so get your tea towels out. So I'm rather sensibly having a go at the rear label on this bottle rather than going for the one that I actually care about. Obviously it would be nice if I can get both, 
But if the water's not done the job yet, or something's not quite working, I'd rather completely mess it up on the rear label rather than the front label. So this is where your sharp implement of choice comes in. No, you really want something like a razor blade or a Stanley knife blade. Something that's nice and sharp and nice and thin and something that's hopefully on the short side so you can really manoeuvre it around a bit. And you shouldn't need to use a huge amount of force if this has all gone to plan. You want to make sure that you're using a very shallow angle and you want to press it firmly against the surface of the bottle and just ease it under the label and it should, if you've done everything right, just slip under there. Obviously a good idea to start with a corner and me personally, I like to start on one of the short edges and just work an entire short edge off and that will give you something to grab hold of and hopefully the rest will come off as you peel it. So this one can be a little bit nerve wracking but if you're patient and careful and just pay attention to what the label's doing it should hopefully come off in one piece. You'll probably notice that I'm also using the tea towel there on the neck of the bottle just holding it loosely so the bottle can turn on its own just gently applying a little bit of tension to the label just so it comes off nice and slowly all in one piece. Again that lip on the bottom of the bottle there gave me a little bit of trouble. Just repositioned the blade so I can get it under the, the full short edge, start it off and then just hold the neck of the bottle loosely and just peel it off carefully. There we go. Last time it looked like this was probably in the Kilhoman bottling hall. So I will give you a warning, once you've done one, this can become a little bit addictive, especially once you start to get a bit good at it. So I'm going to give it another go here with my empty bottle from the Hudson Baby Bourbon. Again I've left this for about 10-15 minutes and you can see that the, the paper label on this bottle is coming off really easily. With ever so light attention on the label, it all comes off in one piece. So the next problem that you're going to have is the residual stickiness on the backs of the labels. Now what you do next, it depends on what you intend to do with your labels. If you're going to scrapbook them, then it's not such a problem. If you've got stickiness on the backs of the label, you can just stick that directly into your notebook and job done. If you intend to keep your labels in a shoebox or put them on a pin board like me, then you need somehow to get rid of that stickiness. And the way to do that is to get some of this horrible stuff. Any sort of talcum powder or baby powder, anything like that, just get a little bit of it and apply it to the back of the label and just rub it in a little bit and you just want to apply enough of that fine powder to the back of the label. Obviously it's handy that talcum powder is white because it makes less of a mess of the label but you just want to apply enough that you're adhering to all of that adhesive and just getting rid of any stickiness on there. One word of advice for anyone that is going to do this is to make sure you tidy up before you have polite company over because someone stepping through your door and seeing an old whiskey bottle, a load of white powder and a razor blade, it's just not a good look. So I mentioned how addictive this can be and it really can. So let's give it another try with this old bottle from an Abraken. So again starting off, left the water in for about 10 minutes, starting off on a corner and just working my way down, I have found that the two biggest challenges can be large labels where you haven't got a short edge to start with and bottles that are drastically curved, they can be a bit of a pain just to get started off and you probably saw that when I was working the label off on this one, I started off at the top 
and the razor blade just nicked the corner and started to rip the label. So I just started again on the bottom corner, worked my way up to the split, so you can ease both halves of the label either side of the split off at the same time, and fingers crossed, most of the time you'll get away with it. So this one's taking a little bit more force because you're removing a larger surface area with each pull, but with a little bit of patience and care, this one's going fairly well too. A little bit more of the completely non-suspicious white powder and this one will be ready for the pinboard too. One thing that I do want to talk about is what do you do when you completely balls it up and you've done a rubbish job and you may be able to get the label or most of the label off but it just looks a little bit of a state. And the, the times that I've had this happen tend to be when you have a metalized plastic label stuck to paper, which is then stuck to the glass. They can be a real pig to try and get off, especially when there's a metalization printed onto the label. It's hard to get the label off without spoiling that. And quite often what you're left with is a wrinkly, horrible looking bit of rubbish. But it is possible to rescue these and I'm gonna show you how. So what you're going to need is a piece of card and it's preferable if you get some card that's not shiny on both sides but just about anything should do. You'll also need some glue so the easiest approach here I've found is just some basic glue stick and last of all you're going to need a cutting mat and a straight edge and something to cut it with. So in comes the eponymous Stanley knife. my dog-eared label and my donor card backing. Apply a thin coat of glue to the card. Make sure it's stuck down square and just use something as a straight edge to get most of those bubbles and creases out. So obviously this Highland Park label, it doesn't look great, but it looks a lot better than it did and in my opinion good enough to keep.
So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video and hopefully it's given some of you some ideas. And I look forward to hearing all of your tips and tricks for getting labels off bottles in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.